proceedings. An officer sent to surgery after being run over by a vehicle. I'm Daniel Wilkerson in Fairburn. The big game is over, but here at the airport, the craziness is still underway. I'm Rebecca Schramm with a look at the long lines during the Super Bowl mass exodus. Super Bowl send-off. We are grateful that you chose Atlanta, and we are grateful that it will not be here next year. It's goodbye, Atlanta. Hello, Miami. And a big warm-up is on the way in Metro Atlanta with temperatures near 20 degrees above average. I'm pinpointing exactly how warm it will get. Oh, my God. CBS 46 News at noon starts now. Good Monday afternoon. I'm Karen Greer. It's a wrap. Now Super Bowl fans are headed home for that Super Bowl shuffle with the game behind us. Now comes the mass exodus. CBS 46 News, Rebecca Stroud is live. The world's busiest airport in Atlanta, Hartsville, Jackson. And Rebecca, you know, that crowd was already expected, so how are folks handling it there? You know what is interesting, Karen? I have to tell you, about 45 minutes ago, I thought it was getting out of control. This is what they had to do because so many people are waiting in line at security. They actually had to find some new real estate, so they snaked the line through baggage uh, baggage claim. But you know what? Looks are a little deceiving here. It was taking more than an hour to get through security, but right now it's only taking about 15 to 30 minutes. For the folks here at the airport, they were ready because today is their Super Bowl.